damn guys, you gotta give Roy Nelson props. That dude has extreme heart and he can take a fucking knee. That dude is a beast. You see him for for Doom, he's hella impressing me with those kicks and knees and elbows. He's pulling off some like Anderson Silva type uh uh Muay Thai and um I just think the heart and the determination of big country, that's what keeps him in these fights. I know He's not the most technical fighter because he goes in there for like these big overhand right. And he is a good Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu uh, black belt, but that's what got him off the ground. But Big Country is a beast. I have That dude has my respect. Much respect to the Big Country. Well, to be honest, I guess it is uh, he, Nick Diaz is retiring because he said it's bullshit because how the fight went. Like how he said, uh, Carlos Condit was running around the whole fight, which if you watch this fight, he did. He did like a little deal in and runs around the cage. He would run around the cage, throw a punch, run around the cage. He was doing like, uh, um, what do they call it, uh, like whatever Nick, whatever, uh, Leo Machida does, that, uh, elusive style. Okay, let me read this tweet by MMA Blogger, which has like 20,000, uh, followers. It says, the UFC is effing fixed. Uh, Diaz controlled the entire fight. Conan backed away the whole time. What the hell? I agree with that. He was controlling the action and isn't one of the main roles in, uh, the octagon. If you have octagon control, you should secure the win. And the takedown, son. Only one takedown I know of in that fight was, um, Diaz. Diaz took him down and almost submitted him. That's got to count for something. I think the judges are fucking loopy. It's like, fucking every judge picked Carlos went, what? Not one judge picked uh, Diaz? What the hell you smoking, judge? I mean, come on, guys. I think uh, this is another ripoff, like Shogun losing to Leona Machida the first time. Now, that was a big ripoff, but this? Come on now, son. Come on now. When you do the octagon control shit, you should secure a win. Boring. You go like this, punch, run around the cage, and Nick says he doesn't want to uh, lose like that. He says it's a bullshit thing, and I agree with that. Nick Diaz was pressing the reaction. He was always uh, walking him down. Yeah, he would walk him down, throw like two punches, and then get kicked. Okay, I see that. Nick Diaz uh, should have won that fight. I, 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 I call the fight. Um, I would say Nick won the first round. Nick won the second round. Nick lost. I mean, lost the fourth round and won the fifth round with the takedown. I see. and to be honest, here's what I gotta say to these uh, MMA judges: a lot of these people don't know shit about MMA and they don't know how to judge a fight. To be honest, that takedown should have won him the fight because takedowns are the biggest uh, points you can get in MMA is a takedown. And he said, basically, I'm retiring because this fight is bullshit. He said he didn't win the. Fu he says. Basically, he doesn't call his fight a loss. And to be honest, I give Nick Diaz all the props. If he is retiring, I give the dude going out on top 11 and uh, 1 in his last 12 fights. That fool's a fucking beast. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, it's just disappointing to see a guy who backs a dude down actually comes forward the whole fight and still loses with the takedown. I, I post in the comments below, you think the takedown won him the fight? Because, uh, to be honest, I don't see how Nick Diaz lost. But it could be because Carlos landed a couple uh, kicks and then it would circle out like uh, Leo Machida, like I said. But, man, what is it with these? a lot of these top dudes that are retiring? Like Brock Lesnar retired after he lost. Uh, Nick Diaz retired after he lost. I mean, that's crazy. UFC 143. And now it's going to be... Condent versus GSP. GSP is going to destroy Carlos Condent and remain the champion. And to be honest, I could care less about that fight. And to be honest, I think Nick got screwed because he did octagon control. When you see, if you go back and find this fight online, you see Carlos backing up a lot. And um, once he got Carlos up against the cage, he ran a couple punches. He did a fat combo in, I think it was the second round. He got him in the fifth round and almost submitted him. That, to me, should have been a victory. But I'm not a judge. 
And I bet you if I was a judge, I would know more about MMA than some of these dudes who don't know shit. Like I said, Leo Machida, first fight versus uh, Shogun. Shogun whooped him. And they're like, nah, he didn't, son. He, he lost. So, with that said, rate, hate, comment, and subscribe.